Welcome back, nursery. Don't forget where we left off our story map. It is a long challenge, but we will get there in the end. You haven't got to add in as much detail as this. I'm just trying to recap the story to help you. Just remember those parts of the stories that you can think of and draw those to help remind you of what happened. I'm sure your drawings will be much better than mine, so it'll help you retell that story a lot better. But don't forget, this is where we were, the ladybird, and all the other animals had that cunning plan to change the sounds the animals make. Instead of the sheep saying ba, the sheep can say moo. The horse doesn't say nay, the horse can say ba. They were changing those sounds to trick those burglars, those robbers here, Hugh and Lem. So they arrived. All the animals made the different sounds. We've got ba, hiss, said the duck. said the cat. So I've just made the sounds but I know if I draw the sound of singing of those songs I'm sure you can add in your own sounds here. Then moving on they thought they're at the right place because they had remembered the map, they remembered the directions, they were listening out for the animals. Remember they couldn't see because it was dark. It was in the middle of the night. Because Remember the farmer was in bed. So the animals had tricked them all, they changed their sounds, then they thought they were at their cow shed, but instead they had landed in the duck pond with a splash. And then all the water comes out and with all that noise, the farmer, who was all neatly tucked up in bed, there he is in his bed, woke up. And then the police came. Now this will be an interesting drawing. I thought we could draw the police car. There you are, there's your police car with the siren at the top. Nino, Nino, Nino. And at the end of the story, because our fantastic ladybird, the fine prize cow was saved. And they can all live back on the farm. So here is my story map. I've just drawn some simple pictures to help me think about what happened in the story and then I follow it back to try and remember the events. So we start back from the beginning. Once upon a farm there was a hen, a duck, a goose, a sheep, a hog. What's a hog again? The pig. That's what we remember it as isn't it? A horse, a dog, a cat, two cats, cow and of course the ladybird. And we were told that the ladybird never said a word. No words. The ladybird looked and the ladybird heard. The ladybird heard the cunning plan. With the key to get through to the gate to try and steal the fine prize cow. They knew the map that the burglars were talking about. They knew the route they were going to take to try and steal that cow. So the ladybird told all the farm animals about the plan. <gasps> no, they weren't happy with that. They had to try and save the prize cow. So they had their ideas. Hmm, what could we do? I know, let's trick them. And the animals swapped their animal sounds. Instead of saying ba, the sheep said moo. Can you add those sounds in for me? Hugh and Len arrived. They thought they were going to steal the fine prize cow. But no, the animals tricked them. They changed their sounds. The Hugh and Len thought they were at the right place at the cow shed. But no, where were they? Oh no, they had gone to the duck pond and splash, they'd fallen in. 
all that time, the farmer was in bed. But that noise woke him up. The police came. And what did they do? That's right, they arrested Len and Hugh. Because they were making the wrong choices. It's not good to steal things, is it? And try and take things that aren't theirs. And then at the end, the animals can live safely on the farm. Thanks to our lovely little mini beast of the ladybird. There's my picture. Hope you could have fun drawing yours as well. Be amazing if you could draw a little map and a pathway, almost like a treasure map, because what was the treasure in this story? What were they trying to find as their treasure? The fine prize cow, well done. So it's almost like drawing a treasure map, but instead of X marks a spot to dig for treasure, X marks a spot to show you where the fine prize cow would be. Another little challenge for you if you wanted to. Those cheeky animals tricked Len and Hugh, which was brilliant because it stopped them doing the wrong thing. What little trick could you play on them? Could you think of your own? What might you do to stop them stealing the fine prize cow? Have a go, explore and enjoy some story mapping with your images. If you want a little extra challenge for this as well, feel free to add in your own little words and labels using your phonics, any sounds that we've been learning about. But if you have a go at drawing some images that are even better than Mrs French's, wow stars will be coming to you. Good luck, have fun and see you soon. Bye nursery.